It's time to be diligent and stay vigilant, guys. Why? Because from BC Backer, be careful out there. Lots of reports of this ad, of this ad floating around on YouTube, guys. It is a scam. We just got another conf another confirmation. Why? We said when crypto start moving upwards, guys. When crypto start to pump, what's going to be occurring? More of these scams, right? Everywhere. Be very careful. No. At Brian Garland Hills, this is on YouTube. As an as an ad, that's just crazy. I even think I see one of these. I'm not even joking, guys. I was watching a an XRP video, I think, or something, guys, or or a crypto video generally, and I seen this ad pop up as well, right? Of Brad Garling House speaking, if I'm not mistaken. Look at the mouth; you could see it's edited. Be careful, people. This is not real, and will end up scamming a lot of people. Exactly. So I don't know why YouTube is not doing anything, guys, right? I don't know what the, what the solution to this problem is, but never trust anything, guys, right? At this point in time, we have to be on our toes. Why? Because everyone wants cryptos, guys, right? Um, especially the wrongful way of scamming and whatnot. You will never get more crypto back if you send someone crypto first, ever. It's always a scam every single time. Exactly, guys. So be very careful, guys, right? It still baffles me from King Doggo how this is still ongoing. Exactly. We have been calling this scam out for five plus years and still no actions from YouTube. Why? <laughs> Do they want people out? Nobody knows. I mean, this is just getting crazy, guys, right? Even from Johnny Deaton, PSA. Do not fall, fall for any scams asking you to send your XRP or other cryptocurrencies. Promising you'll receive, quote-unquote, double the amount. It's always a scam, guys. Never send your crypto. Now, to add on to this, this is what you guys should be very careful of. You guys should be very careful of, of exchanges and your wallets as well, right? Protect them, guys. Have your seed phrases somewhere safe because when prices do return to possibly new all-time highs, right, and things do, and, and the crypto sphere does get euphoric, guys, that's when you don't want to just log into your exchange and your crypto is on there, right, or your wallets as well. So we just have to be attentive at this point, guys, right, because things are moving to say at least. How do we know? Well, these things are uh, occurring, happening again. This only happens when the bull market is here, literally, right? So let's be aware. Now, huge XRP ledger advertising in Paris as well, just in front, guys. Um, it seems like the XRP ledger is everywhere, guys, right? People will know about... Well, I don't know if people, their average Joe, will know about XRP specifically, right? But people will know at one point in time. Now... This is the craziest thing I've seen, guys. Why? Bitru, Bitru issuing refunds for people who burned their XRP for this new token called XAH, right? And I've seen, I've seen people talk about this token, guys, right? Targeted towards the XRP community where you basically, you basically, what's it called? You burn your XRP for these new tokens, right? But the issue with this is I, I knew something fishy was going on. It's because to burn your XRP, guys, right? It's one to one. XRP is around, or back then it was about 60 cents, right? Now, that's that's an issue, though, because with new tokens, it always dumps, right? And the people who did burn their XRP for this new token, new coin out here, guys, have obviously lost money. And this is where it's getting crazy because I've never heard this in my life, guys. The, the coin dumped, right? Um, but I've never heard this in my life that an exchange called Bitru is literally refunding people who burned their XRP guys for this new token. I couldn't even believe my face. What? I've never seen this in my life, guys. Wow. That's that's just insanity, right? So again, guys, there's going to be more things happening in the crypto sphere, right? Just be, be be very careful. Just be on your toes, guys. Be aware of different things, right? If you don't know something, then you shouldn't. You shouldn't. You probably shouldn't invest in it, right? That's number one. Number two, um, if something uh, number two, if something's too good to be true, such as this right here, guys, it's definitely a scam as well, right? So just be very careful. Now we have to talk about. This right here from Crypto Barbie. Wow. Bloomberg says Ripple wants XRP to be Bitcoin for banks. Wait a moment. Whoa. 
Bloomberg came out. I don't know if this was just recently, guys. Possibly, I think. Um, probably. They say Ripple wants XRP to be Bitcoin for banks. What? That's insanity, guys. Right? Now, I was trying to find the news, uh, the clip of this, but I don't know where it's located, guys, um, where it's at. But that's insane. That's an insane statement. Is it truly? I don't know, right? Ripple wants to be Bitcoin for banks. If 10% of the world's population use Bitcoin, it would consume more energy than what the entire planet currently creates. Now, I don't know if this is true 100%, but if 10% uses... 10% of the world uses Bitcoin, guys, <laughs> Bitcoin will explode, right? Literally, it can't scale. That's the issue, right? Um, so Bitcoin is off the table. And then what about Ethereum? So there's Bitcoin, Ethereum, and XRP. So which coin will it be, right? So Bitcoin, X. Next up. And here's your eternal Ethereum problem. Why? Because Ethereum fees briefly jumped to $100 after BlackRock's Ethereum ETF filing. Oh my, I'm about, when I seen this guys, I think I was about to throw up, not even joke. Because I remember, it was in the last bull run, I was playing with MetaMask guys, right? And, and transacting from coins to different coins on the Ethereum blockchain. And the, the, the fees were literally $60 USD, $80 USD, and sometimes even got up to $100 per, uh, per transaction fee, right? That's just mind boggling. You, a random person, right, an average show would not or should not do that because because it eats your profits, right? And and guess what? This was only during the beginning phases of the bull run where Ethereum jumped to hundred dollars, right? Uh, the the transaction fees. That's insanity. What's going to happen during the bull uh, during the ending phase of the bull run, guys? Right when everything's hectic and it's just more people using the bl Ethereum blockchain, right? Hundreds of hundreds of dollars, if not thousands, guys, right? So Ethereum is obviously finished, which means XRPL fees are less than a fraction of a penny. So Ethereum is X, Bitcoin is X. There's only one coin out there, literally XRP, not to mention Ripple has partnered with the banks, with the institutions, with the governments and nations, right? So if we, if we think logically, guys, there, there's only one that will surpass these other two, right? Just logically, if you think that way, guys, right? So it's, it's pretty simple. I don't know. Yes, things do take time. We're, just, we're about to talk about it in just a second. Next thing's next. Listen to this, though. Brace yourselves for a, uh, for a financial revolution as he breaks down how the digital era is set to transform every corner of finance. Of the digitization, like replacing SWIFT with the XRP ledger, I can get behind that. I mean, I can get behind. Now, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if Swift will 100% be here, guys. I mean, what they will have to do is update, right? Or upgrade because that was built, I don't know, created in the 1900s, right? So it's been decades upon decades upon decades. So something is upcoming, obviously, right? Um, Very interesting to say at least. Then we have... Large hedge fund moved $50 million in XRP for less than 30 seconds. Now do you see the utility side of XRP? Even though, yes, major banks aren't doing this right now, guys. But will they one day? Right? This is where, if you're early on it, guys, that's where you make the big bucks. Not financial advice, but listen to this. Like, yeah, people, the tribalism in this industry is insane. So there, there's Bitcoin maximalists, there's every, but everybody agrees, like, you know, XRP sucks. And, and I, I, actually, I don't really get it, right? I mean, it's, they're a legitimate company. They don't pretend to be something they're not. And they're really good. Exactly. So I don't get why people say XRP sucks, guys. I think it was because of the narrative that they're helping banks or something, right? But at one thing, moving money fast and cheap. And um, it's fantastic. It fills a big need. And for a hedge fund like us to be able to denominate in Ripple and XRP, I just did the same thing, uh, <laughs> is, is really, really, really good. We did our first close. Uh, we moved north of $50 million into the company in Ripple, in XRP, in like two seconds, and it cost 30 cents. Now, that is amazing. The only, there's no way to do that with fiat or really? Bitcoin. There's just no way to do it that fast and that cheaply. And, and so it serves a really useful uh, need for us. And, and it also, when, when our LPs eventually redeem, hopefully never, but when they want some of the money back, we, we just send it in XRP again. And there's no three-day wait for international wires or one-day wait for U.S. wires. We're not paying wire fees and all that. Exactly. 
if you're rooting for a level playing field, you probably should root for XRP. Why? Because XRP helps the average Joe. XRP helps the poor people move money and things, guys. There's so much fees that eat up when people try to send money, guys. Globally, it's it's not it's not even a. It shouldn't even be a thing at this point in time, right? We're in the modern world, guys. In the modern age, how is that even a thing? Things should be quite quick and fast as sending an email. Literally. I just, I don't understand why that's hard to understand. And so the religious wars aside, the tribalism aside, it does some things really well, and we love it for that. But that being said, just because we're denominated in XRP, I'm not a special pleader for XRP. I don't work for them. The company itself is not our LP. Other people who have XRP are. I like them. I think they're great. But they're like less than 5% of our asset base at this point. Like we do invest in XRP, but most of our investments are in other things. So there we go, guys, right? The proof is in the damn pudding that it helps. At, it's There's actual utility, guys, while Bitcoin and Ethereum are taking utility, right, from, from, from the world. Well, of course, it's a good thing as well, as in Bitcoin, right, store, quote, unquote, store of value, Ethereum, right? These things have changed the game, guys, but there's always a negative side to that. And I'm guessing with XRP, I guess the negative side would be what? Governments will be coming to play banks and those things, right? But is it really a negative side, a negative thing, guys? Because they created the first blockchain technology in the first place. So you guys see what I mean? Now, last but not least, from flip the chain, XRP will um, diverge away from this price speculation. Why? Because pricing of XRP is predicted on its use with central banks and financial institutions, right? This is not happening at present. Right now, the price moves on speculation like many. Like many tokens, including Bitcoin, right, X, uh, Ethereum, and all these other S coins and meme coins, guys, right. So, as a last sluggish sector, financial payments, right, it's very slow, guys, especially with money, right, because it needs to be safe, secure, and all these things. It's digitized gradually. XRP pricing will break away from the herd. No amounts of speculation will affect it once the banking guide rails are ready. N neither will Bitcoin uh, having events. Or random news articles, exactly right. It's going to what decouple from everything else, basically. When utility does go live, I guess you could account that for other tokens as well, right? There, are, there are utilities. Only a few tokens and blockchains can offer payment rails for banks in under seconds for pennies like XRP. Not to mention, it depends on partnerships. That's very important. Ripple, look who they're partnered with. Sending fifty million dollars cross border to cost thirty cents just to give this uh, some real perspective, right? Imagine with the Swift system. To be fair, not every blockchain in this game. To be fair, not every blockchain wants in this game, but this is about XRP. Central banks have to adopt together as a whole. That's why it's referred to as "quote unquote" flipping the switch. Compliances and regulations, all different, uh, differing from country to country, must be synchronized for CBDCs. We will talk about CBDCs probably tomorrow as well. Things are moving, guys, towards this new financial system. Basically, pilot tests have been years in the running between XRP and central banks. Many, uh, many, many partnerships have been created to provide on and off ramps and custody. This is the fruit of over 10 years of forging these relationships. ISO has its debut on November 19th. Is that true? I've been seeing a lot of November dates guys around this period as well. The grace period for all banks to get on board with these with those global standards ends late 2025. That's very fascinating. What if the bull runs ends around that time as well? Not to mention Big Short, a riddler in the community followed by Mr. Poole said to stay in by till 2026, right, until 2026, but that could have been for anything, to be honest. Due to the nature of every bank needing interoperability with another, these standards are mandatory for CBDCs. The pivot year is 2024. Ripple alliances are already placed, placed in Japan, not to mention 2025 Japan banks, they say, right? Japanese banks will use XRP, who knows? That's what they say to guys. Um, SBI, right? Um, Australia, UK, Singapore, Hong Kong, Africa, Switzerland, Dubai, UAE, BRICS, as well as the BIS, IMF, and more um, Ripple now, uh, alliances. When the bank plug, when the banks plug in, the small retail investors won't make a dent in the price. Each XRP has to be a very, has to be a very high value to move large parts of the seven trillion dollar daily on FX market worldwide. This does not include tokenization of bonds, real estate, and other assets, right? And this is why they're targeting liquidity because there needs to be liquidity to move that amount of money, right? Because if, if they were to move that much money, guys, there will be a price effect, a price shock. So there needs to be liquidity, liquidity, liquidity. That's why everything matters on liquidity, right? So things move seamlessly without having an effect on the price. 
at the end, guys, in the end, it seems like there's just proof after proof after proof we're heading towards this new world where blockchain will be implemented as well with many tokens. Not financial advice, let's be prepared. But anyways, I hope you guys amazingness. See ya.